Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we're gonna talk about the single most requested thing until this day, which is the language requirements for your med school application in Germany. Let's explore the different language examinations and proficiency levels in detail, let's go. Before we discuss the actual language requirements, it's important to talk about why do we need German study medicine in Germany. German is of course the primary language of instruction for German medical programs and being proficient in the German language makes patient, colleague and professor interactions so much easier. Moreover, it plays a significant role in adapting to the local culture and healthcare system. In Germany, universities and med schools demand a specific level of German knowledge to ensure that students can efficiently partake in the lectures and the tuition program. The Common European Framework of References for Languages, CEFR, is most commonly used to assess this proficiency. The most common language level required for medical studies in Germany is B2, C1 and C2. To demonstrate your language abilities, you will need to sit a recognized language exam. Let's explore two of the most widely recognized language examinations. The TEST DAF, Test for German as a Foreign Language and the DSH, German Language Examination for University Entrance. The test of exam is especially formulated for non-German speaking internationals. It consists of four sections, reading comprehension, listening comprehension, writing and speaking. The exam is administered at multiple times during the year and is recognized by most universities in Germany. Achieving a score of four or better is usually required for your application. The reading comprehension will test your ability to understand and interpret academic texts related to various medical topics. It assesses your reading speed, comprehension and vocabulary knowledge. On the other hand, the listening comprehension will evaluate your listening skills by presenting you with academic lectures and conversations related to medical subjects. It tests your ability to understand and extract information from spoken German. In the writing section, you'll be asked to write an essay or a formal letter on a given medical topic. It assesses your writing skills, grammar, vocabulary use and ability to express your thoughts clearly. And lastly, the speaking section consists of three parts. You'll be required to give a short presentation, engage in a discussion with the examiner and participate in a role play situation related to the medical field. It evaluates your ability to communicate fluently, express opinions and engage in dialogues. The DSH exam is another language proficiency test which is designed for university entrance. It is offered by individual universities and assesses your ability to understand academic text, participate in discussions and write scientific papers. Some universities may require a DSH exam for your application, usually DSH 2 or higher. The DSH's listening comprehension will measure your ability to understand academic lectures and discussions in a university setting and understanding of complex spoken German. The reading section presents you with academic text and evaluates your ability to comprehend and analyze them. It tests your understanding of scientific vocabulary, inference making skills and critical thinking abilities. The DSH writing section will require you to write an essay or a scientific paper on a given topic. It assesses your ability to structure your arguments, use appropriate academic language and express yourself clearly. The speaking section evaluates your oral communication skills in an academic context. You'll be required to participate in a group discussion, give a short presentation and answer questions related to a specific topic. It assesses your ability to articulate your thoughts, engage in debates and present information effectively. Now that you are familiar with the language exams, let's discuss some tips in order to improve your language skills. Language courses. Consider enrolling as a language course which focuses on medical terminology and academic language skills. These courses can really help you enhance your vocabulary, grammar and language proficiency skills. Self-study. Make use of online resources, language learning apps and textbooks to improve your writing, your listening, your speaking and your presenting skills. Set aside dedicated study time and make a good plan to track your progress. Practice speaking. Find language exchange partners or join conversation groups in order to practice your German regularly. This will help improve your vocabulary, pronunciation and your confidence using the language. Take advantage of the mock examinations, they are available online. 
These resources can give you the feel of an exam and help you identify areas which may need some additional improvement. And lastly, immersion. Immerse yourself in the German language and culture as much as possible. Watch German movies, TV shows, listen to German music or podcasts and engage with native German speakers. Try to use German in your daily life because one day maybe you will need it every day. To conclude, language requirements are an essential part of your med school application in Germany. Achieving the required level is essential for successful academic integration and effective communication in the medical field. By understanding the different language levels and the exams, the DSH and TESDAF, you'll be well equipped to meet the language requirements needed in order for your application. You got this. If you have any questions left, do not hesitate to put them into the comments down below. If this video helped you, I would really appreciate a like, rating or a subscription. Thanks for standing me and until next time.